Ooh, hey y'all, welcome to the next Mental Health Chronicles. I am Tanisa, aka Kalari GXC on Twitch, and I just want people to understand that even though I hate giving a whole bunch of covets for videos because I feel like a lot of creators will waste time giving disclaimers, I'm just going to be real and blunt. These are my feelings. If you don't like it, hit the X. Don't watch my shit. I'm so over having to sit through 10 minutes of disclaimers through people just trying to state their opinion so if you need to realize and be told over and over that the opinions stated on my channel are mine i don't know what to tell you so we're not going to be doing that today's topic because I want to be open about how I handle my mental health issues is going to be called ugly. Why? Because it's something that I heard a lot of my life. No surprises there. Being a black woman, especially having body image and self image issues is almost laughably norm for us because we live in a society that made our looks feel foreign and savage and other horrible associations that aren't true but for the longest time it became so ingrained that you still hear people joking about how black chicks aren't hot and whatnot and i think a part of my sociopathy especially developed this attitude that i never really cared about my looks as one of the things that i pointed out about me in my video, something that I know I could get fixed, something that I haven't gotten fixed because I don't care, are the teeth. When I was younger, my first set of permanent teeth were broken, one by a fall, and I think the other one was a slip and fall too. And the dentist that I went to as a child was just, I don't know whether he just had a dark sense of humor or liked to torture people in this in the chair was just really bad and loved to pull things like oh does this hurt you and laugh so I've always had like a bit of a negative association with dentists because of that and it takes a lot for me to deal with people in dentistry because of those bad circumstantial things that happen with this dentist you know and i say circumstantial because it was a long time ago i have a history of mental health problems and they're probably no longer even alive so i don't want to slander them or their family's name but it wasn't a positive experience and young me associates that with a lot of people in that field so i just stay away i probably shouldn't and i know people go oh that makes you even uglier and it's like i don't care i think looks are a construct a social construct that people wield for power and to say, I have this over you. It's why so many famous people allow themselves to be carved up, injected with crap to look like weird amalgam versions of themselves. It's why there's a whole entire industry of cosmetic concealers to make you look a certain way even if you don't and leave your face pretty much hollowed out when you don't have it on. Now, I don't say this to slander people who really use makeup for confidence. I get that. And I get that body dysmorphia is a very serious mental health issue. But I feel like a lot of people are constantly trying to push me into a category that I don't want to be in. I don't wear makeup because I don't feel interested in it. It also makes my face feel funny and every time I've used it, I've had irritation, so I don't bother with it. I'm not here to look a certain way for people, and I've accepted that. But being in a society that can't accept that is the most tiring aspect of it. I've accepted the ugliness that society has labeled me with because I don't care. I don't wear it as a badge of pride either because I legitimately feel nothing towards it. I am not trying to put forward attractiveness. I think it's ridiculous to do so, but I know that there are people out there that still feel that it's a compliment. Oh no, you're beautiful, Ted. I don't care. And I don't think people understand this mindset, so I want to try to explain why I feel this way. Growing up in New York, especially being short, fat dark skin which it's funny because a lot of people nowadays say oh you're not as dark no i'm dark skin i'm okay with that it's not an insult to me and i think when people 
say that to me oh you're not as dark skin they're coming across as saying that people with really dark skin or darker than my skin are somehow bad and y'all need to stop it's not a fucking compliment we shouldn't be rating people on their skin tones but here we are and that's another microcosmic of microcosm of beauty that pisses me off of looks that pisses me off because there are so many people that have used the look and beauty system to systematically shut people out and make people feel insecure about stuff that is naturally a part of who they are that I can't get with that. So if I'm ugly by people's standards, so be it. I'm so sick and tired, especially as a woman, being rated by something that doesn't fucking matter, that changes drastically over time, depending on who you are, your influences, and your body types. And too many people don't want to get into that. No, they would all rather us be so fucking insecure that we throw any amount of money we can into an industry made to carve us up and make us look ridiculous. It is fucking ridiculous. And it's funny now how famous people will go and get their shit injected to have the size hips and ass that some of us get naturally, to have the lips that used to be considered low class. It is re fucking ridiculous. This amount of standard set to something that doesn't really matter. It is fucking superficial. It is all on the surface and the surface can be changed by any old thing. So that is what I need people to understand when I say, I don't care if I'm ugly. I don't care if people call me ugly. I don't care if people feel I'm ugly. I don't feel that way because I just don't look at myself on those standards. I don't set myself the standards that are unrealistic, A. B, never really applied to me in the first place. Because according to society standards, for the longest time, I've never fit said beauty standards. So why should I aspire to something that wasn't made for me in the first place? And I know I am far from the only person, not just female or male, non-binary people associate with this too, that have never felt that pull. Or worse yet, feel sorry for those of us who do, who try so hard to change, to fit into a system that was never meant for us. And when you have that viewpoint, you get labeled Oh, she's sociopathic. She's antisocial. It's part of her mental thing. How dare she not want to fit in to the beauty standards that most women should aspire to because that makes you desirable to the meatheads who will fucking beat you, destroy you, and tell you that you cannot live without them. It is so all hand tied into a toxic fucking system that we as humans need to get away from in the first place. That I just don't understand how people aren't making those connections. Making somebody feel insecure or supposedly secure by their looks only leads them to be victims of those who only see them and want them for said looks. They don't care about anything else you can do. And once those looks fade for them a little bit, they move on to that next ideal. And that is why we need to get away from this fucking mentality. But we can't because the industry is fucking lucrative. And they make their bank off of making sure that more humans are born insecure about things that naturally happen to your face and body. And it's sickening. And that's why I don't want any part of it. And that is why I don't get upset. When people call me ugly and dink, I'm not working too hard on my looks, honestly. I know that's a big shock looking at me. Oh, yeah, there, I can see that. She's not working hard on her looks at all. I don't fucking care. And I think it can be hard for people to understand this mentality because you have grown up worrying about your figure, worrying about how you look, how you carry yourself, because that's how our society wants us good little prince and princesses that look a certain way, act a certain way, and represent a certain way so that we look like an altogether society. But in honesty, there is so much body dysmorphia, personality dysmorphia even, because people don't know how to act. One thing that is in for a minute ends up being out the next. One look that was in for a minute ends up being out the next. And people cannot chameleon the way they think they can. And it causes a lot of internal strife and struggle. 
So for me, it is easy to just opt out of that bullshit. Never participated in the first place. Don't want it. Don't put that evil my way because I don't need it. I have enough going on in my head without putting the added burden of I've got to look a certain way on top of that. And like I've said in plenty of these mental health vlogs, the one time that I got the compliment from starving myself and getting down to the acceptable weight, I was at my most miserable. I was suicidally miserable. And I think that is just the reality of the situation for a lot of us. We're not allowed to be comfortable in our so-called ugliness either. Society wants us to feel bad. I don't. And I know the saying that might bring on the that harmful, hateful comments. If that's the way you want to waste your time, if that's how you get your dopamine hit, more power to you. I feel that's sad and pathetic, but you know, you do you. Find that happy and shitting on somebody else. I honestly feel like a lot of people will take this as an open invitation to mock my appearance. And you know what? If that's how they get their happiness, so be it. I am done feeding into the notion that it is okay to put a hyper focus on looks because looks don't matter. How you survive in this world matters. How you carry yourself, how you find ways to live matters. Education, which we can't even touch upon how effed up our current education system is the one size fit all of it is because we're so focused on looking and being a certain part flexing and being clout worthy and being viral and it's just a mess but one of the things that i feel really does fuck people up is self-image and so many people have a negative self-image issue because we are taught from almost the fucking cradle to be cute or look a certain way and i'm tired i don't want no parts of that i'm not raising my son to have any parts of that either and i know oh that just makes you a weirdo all right whatever label you want to slap on this i'm fine with now because it is truly exhausting trying to keep up with the rest of humanity so i opted out and I know that, psychologically speaking, that's not supposed to be norm, but I really wish it was because it truly was exhausting when I tried to fit in. It truly was exhausting when I tried to care about the mundane things that fellow human beings care about. I don't. And I don't think people believe that because they're like, oh, no, you, yeah, and they do it on Twitter all the time. Oh, you need to fix this. You need to fix that. If you say so, I'm probably not because I'm fine like this. And I think that fucking unnerves some people and good. I don't think people understand what this mindset's like. I don't think people understand that you can mentally get to the point where you realize it doesn't fucking matter. The fact that I'm here every day, it's testament enough that these idiots can't break me. And if you're watching this and you've been at the point where you feel ugly, you need to stop. Because the only voice that matters in this situation is yours and you're being influenced by people who are insecure themselves and who cares if you're supposedly ugly you're still gonna find people who don't feel that way about you but you won't trust that because you can't deny the little voices in your head that come from outside influences and that is a problem that so many of us have that even medical professionals can't touch because you can't stop a person from putting their self-worth in other people's hands, unfortunately. But once you take that equation out of your life and you realize that it doesn't fucking matter, it's freeing. That's all I can tell you. Honestly speaking, it really is freeing. Stop worrying about my fucking life especially now that i'm getting older and supposedly you get put out the pasture after a certain age anyway you just realize none of that shit matters and i really hope that anybody watching this realizes that if you think you're beautiful good enjoy it embrace it own it if it makes you happy 
But in the end, if that's all you're bringing to the table, that's all you want to bring to the table, you can't get mad when people don't notice other aspects of yourself that probably are better to develop and pump up and put out there. Putting your stock in just the way you look is a death sentence to me because you get pulled into an abyss of insecurity and need to update your look to fit in and be the oh fashion that nothing else matters and people have died from this shit people have died from repeated cosmetic carving of themselves because they never find that standard for themselves that make them not feel insecure that's why i said it's a fucking abyss y'all and i don't want to see people lose themselves so heavily to it it's hard it goes so many ways it goes into looks and attitude some of the most supposed peak fitness types have gone through it too. They go through extreme body dysmorphia. That's why some inject themselves to give themselves muscly looks as well. It is a microcosm of a society that is vying for some way of control and to laud over others something that they supposedly cannot have. And it's a mess. So I say this as your resident lucid sociopath. Y'all need to stop. Because it's not getting you anywhere. And it's causing more mental health suffering and damage by the fucking generation. The more we raise people to focus on such superficial aspects, the more suffering our society goes through. Stop putting such a fucking heavy focus on who's ugly and who's not. It doesn't fucking matter. That's what I want to say in this mental health blog. And I know that it feels like I might be stepping on people's toes in certain communities. I'm not. I don't care if they do that to make themselves feel good. I just feel from my perspective that you can try to cover up flaws. But if you can't live with the natural way you look, there's not enough coats of paint that will help those issues. But when you can feel good or content with yourself, no matter what you look like, that's true supposed beauty. And I honestly don't care either way if people ascribe to what I'm saying or not. I just want to put it out there because there are too many people struggling to figure out where they want to be and not feeling confident enough to just be their natural self. And even worse, getting hepped up with people who want to acclaim natural stuff but put really weird premises on it like oh to be natural black you can't dye your hair you can't perm this you can't to be natural anything is to be what makes you comfortable and a lot of especially ash types don't want you to hear that either because they want to control how you look how you carry yourself natural is what makes you naturally feel comfortable And if you naturally feel comfortable altering yourself, if you naturally feel comfortable putting on a cover-up, that is what you do to make you happy. I realize that what makes me happy is naturally just not covering my face and stuff. But I do. I dye my hair. I used to perm my hair. I used to do a lot of things that I thought made me happy that I no longer do, especially since this pandemic hit and it doesn't make sense to But a lot of people aren't in that headspace and they don't know what to do. They feel like to look a certain way will garner them people that like them. And I just don't ascribe to that garbage. And I honestly don't want that garbage. So I don't know. Maybe that factors in. But I'm getting to the rambly point again. And I always stop these uh, vlogs when it starts to feel like I'm going to start repeating and rambling. Because nobody wants to sit through all that. But I did want to really make it clear my feelings on looks, why I feel like as a a, a person with mental health issues, I stopped ascribing to that. I have enough issues that I have to unpack, put away, and work on without the added self 
image issues. So when people assault my looks because of my size, because of my skin tone, because of my dental stuff, I just let them have it. That is, that's the win you want to have online, buddy. I set you up for an easy win. Way to go, champ. I hope it made you feel better. Those of you who are like me, just going through this life existing, trying to figure out what the fuck the point of this is, thank you for tuning in. I will be back next week with all new ideas. Who knows what the topic will be. I just want to give a realistic look on somebody who is living with mental health issues, who gets the help, who has a support system to be lucid enough to have these talks. And hopefully these talks help people a little bit. I'm not a person that used to be able to do stuff like this. And now that I can, I hope it helps people. That's the only point of doing these things. But I will be back next week with a new one of these. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.